Hey, I'm Jennifer, and this is my first ever FAQ blog post for photographers. I'm only going to answer a couple of questions in order to keep this video short. So if you have some, please feel free to keep sending those, and I'll try to get to them in the next video. The first question I have is from Christy. Christy asks, what PPI do you save your images? It really depends on how I am saving and using my images. The first time I save them, I normally save them at high resolution so that I can print from them. Um, I have them as a backup on my external hard drive or whatever. I save those at 600 PPI. It's a little bit of overkill, but um, it always works and it turns out just fine in prints. The second way I save is if I'm going to be building an album. Typically, album companies want you to save them between 250 and 300 PPI. Check with your album company and um, see what their requirements are. The third way that I save mine are for my blog, for Facebook, or if I'm going to put them on a proofing gallery online. I save all of those images at 72 PPI. That's a very low resolution. You wouldn't want to print from it, um, and it uploads a lot faster that way. The second question I have is from Eric. Eric writes, Tips for framing the shot just right. I have problems doing this and typically have to correct in Photoshop. Sometimes you're not alone, especially if I want a symmetrical photo. I always have to um, frame it, reframe it in a Lightroom before I go through editing in fa uh, Photoshop. But you may also want to be um, looking through your viewfinder and uh, imagining that the rule of thirds, the little tic-tac-toe box, and framing your subject that way. I think if you really do that, um, just imagine that, look through your whole picture through the viewfinder, um, and just set it up that way, you're not going to have to go back later through Photoshop and reframe it. Um, it's going to save you tons of time and a lot of energy if you do it right in camera first. Also, you can move your uh, focus points around. So that might help you to focus better on your subject. And typically, I like to focus on the eye. Um, and I really want my eyes in focus um, and I also want them on the outsides of the tic-tac-toe box. I rarely ever put them in the center unless I am doing the symmetrical shot. I hope this answers your questions. If you have any more, feel free to leave them on my Facebook page or email me at jennifer at jenbrownphoto.com. Thanks.